Greetings and salutations. This is Johnny Mac, Locker Metal Plus. We've got another video for you. Um, today we've got a bit of a collection update. Um, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, all that sort of stuff. Um, don't forget to check out my last video where I uh, got a competition to win some sweet stuff because uh, I wanted to get over 100 subs, which is nice. Um, right. Okay, so um, first up, hope you like your t-shirt, because we're doing some consecration. Yep, this is the new EP from um, Liam's band, Death Doom Metalhead. I know everybody else has been showing it, so I thought I'd better give my shout out, out on Cavernous Records, three song. Uh, EP with awesome artwork, which is I think I got t-shirt. Just really t-shirt. Why not? I've stood up. There you go. Smart. So yeah, um, this is the 2021 uh, EP. Just got three tracks. Um, they're all older stuff that they've done on previous demos and various other things back in the day, and just. While I wait for the new album to come out next year, they thought they'd knock up some um, tracks. That's the Edge of the Ugly Buggers. Very jealous. Um, yeah, Cast Down the Burning, Get the Priest, and Domain Despair. Um, I think Cast Down the Burning is the one that's, uh, if you're interested in consecration at all. You'll find that one on YouTube, and it's good old-fashioned UK death doom. Um, nice chunky lifts, uh, proper death doom vocals. Um, I think it's more intense than for Gillian the last album. Um, clocks in about twenty-two minutes. Um, yeah, vocals are brilliant on it. Guitar's great, drums great, bass awesome, just good stuff get it right next up i've been waiting a while for this one and we've got wolf lurch i think they're called they're floridian death doom um a little bit like worm but not like worm if you get what i mean um the cd uh this one took ages to come it's out on personal records and it came all the way from mexico that's package i think about from mexico um, yeah, that's, that's the band. Um, album's called Psychedelic Realm of Realms of OV Hell. Um, and this is very good. Um, as I said, it's, it's uh, a little bit worm like. Um, but as I said, it's it, in the title, kind of says it all, really. It, it's quite psychedelic. Uh, sounds like it's been recorded in hell. Um, what, six tracks. What do you do? Uh, yeah, six tracks. Um, got my notes. I've got down. Um, Swampy Death Doom, Sludgy. There's lots of but the songs. I've got a bit of everything in it. There's a bit of med paste. Then there's a bit of blasting. There's some sci-fi, sci-fi, uh, sci science fiction, sci-fi influences. Um, yeah, nasty, got little vocals, just all the stuff we want. Brilliant album, very good. This clocks in about 34 minutes. Cracking. Right, let's get through these. It's, it's getting late and I've got another two videos to the good. Right, next up, um, another one that um, everybody's been raving about is the new Mortifarium album. Uh, preserved in Torment. Now this one is on The Found Law, and this came from Canada. Quite sweet. Book looks quite good as well, but I can't bother getting out. I like the black, the silver on black. It's very gothic and doomy. Picture's great as well. Um, also, while I was on the on the band camp, I picked up the uh, album called Disgorged from Psychotic Depths because I didn't have it. Uh, also, on profound law. Um, checketh me notice. Uh, Disgorge came out in 2019, 
obviously preserved in Tomate Cumbered Out this year, 2021. Um, yeah, it's pretty on the lantern. There's there's a lot of fast blasty bits on it. Um, very in your face. Still got slow because death doom obviously. Six tracks, 40 minutes. Um, I mean, I've put awesome drums and guitars, so there you go. Uh, yep, yeah, that's that's just cracking stuff. Um, I think they're from Washington. Uh, very good, anyway. Right, um, but these are all CDs, and I'm going to whiz into a few tapes I've got. Uh, latest one is this butte. This is Dream Unending. And it's called Tide Turns Eternal. So that's the. Let's have a look at the booklet. I didn't get the other. I think this one's got pictures. We like pictures. Uh, this is a couple of dudes. Who have been in other bands, and I'll have to leave them off my notes because I'm shit at them and stuff these days. Words, lyrics, whatever you want to call them. Things written down in sentences that make sense that you can see. Um, so yeah, this is a beauty. It, this one's out on 20 bucks spin. This one didn't come from Canada or Mexico. Um, right, so you've got Derek Vella, as we all know, from Tomb Mold. Just the tome from Numerable Forms, I think. Yeah, yeah. Now this is awesome. This is very different. This is still plasters. Some people call it death doom, I suppose. It, it is doomy. Um, could be funeral doom, I suppose. Um, yeah, but it's got a bit of everything in it. it it's in that it's kind of psychedelic. Uh, it's progressive. It's haunting. It said it's proggy. It's gothy. It, it reminds me of Anathema. Um, kind of the sort of first sort of album. Is it seven, eight, first one? I don't know. That, that's that sort of. Uh, got the all singing uh now it's also this is this has got sort of got all sing but it's it's layered so it's got layered vocals over it um it's just it's just beautiful this is but it also reminds me a lot of the the later anathema stuff when they they went almost porcupine tree ish you get what i mean that kind of clean guitar sound this is awesome this is really good i've only had a couple of listens to it it's only i think it only came it's only been out i don't know less than a month or that it's not been out long I pre-ordered it. Um, I'm very impressed with it. It's just bloody so yeah. You're the endless buddies. So yeah, uh, Dream on Ended. If you've not heard of them, you, you need to get onto them. They're absolutely brilliant. Right, next up, hope you like my hat because we're going to be talking about Hell Ripper. Um, I picked up the Affair of the Poisons last year, uh, and I thought it was absolutely brilliant. Um, and I kept meaning to get some more stuff. She's made out of a swig of beer. Ah, so yeah, I, I mean, we need to get some more hell lipper stuff. Um, recently started following, follow him on social media. Um, he said he got some more stuff on his band camp. Him being one one man band, obviously hell lipper. James McBain. See, I remember his name this time. Um, so yeah, um, I picked up. He said he had. Let's have a look. First of all, I'll tell you what we'll do. The tape first because. Um, no, we did CD. We've gone from CD. So this is Complete and Total Fucking Mayhem. Great title. Um, and it is basically um, a compilation of um, splits and demos and various other things that he brought out. Um, and I've got to show you the picture from the back, I think it is. Yeah, that picture from the back. You might think, oh, that uh, artwork looks cool. Looks really like the sort of thing that Mark Liddick would do. And, lo and behold, you look in the booklet. There we go. Fetish Zombie. Hell Dipper. Split. I think it's called Prophecies of Ruin, maybe? Yeah. So, yeah. So, that obviously was. It is Mark Liddick. That work. And I thought I'd recognise it because I've got... On Bandcamp, actually, I've just got the Fetid Zombie side of it. I've 
bought it and expected to get the whole lot, but I didn't. I didn't get the Helder one. So yeah, this is uh, 13 tracks of wonderful um, black and speed metal. Um, as if you're not aware of Helder, where have you been? Also, um, cool. Uh, Motorhead and Spad is supposed to Motorhead England. You got held up for Scotland because James McBain is from Scotland. And I had to get the held up for Scotland t shirt because it's flipping sweet. Look at that, baby. You'll be seeing me wearing that very soon. Awesome bit of kit. So, yeah, so this is, I said, it's all the splits and various things. And yeah, you know, we, we I said it's. Uh, Hell, for the you can tell he's influenced by sort of Venom and Motorhead, uh, early Metallica, um, that sort of stuff. Uh, it's just brilliant, absolutely brilliant stuff. Um, I also picked up um, cassette, which you probably glared like glared the thing. I think I showed you it upside down as well. I'm dead professional, mate. There you go. This is his coagulating darkness. Um, I think this, what did this come on? Yeah, at least this one. This is on do, 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 Granite Factory Records. And I think, uh, I'll make a note when this came out. Right, yeah, complete. And um, Total Fucking Mayhem came out in 2016. Regulating Darkness 2017. I think it's just a full length. I don't know if it's first or second full length. Not sure. Could be on, could not be. But. How many tracks we got on it? Two. Eight tracks. Really good anyway. The best of tape if you want to see the tape. Just play with the black one. Good stuff. Uh, and he also chucked in a sweet little sticker as well. You know I like a sticker. So, yeah. Right. Uh, talking of stickers and stuff. Um, I should have some stickers with the next two. Because it's my old favourites. Um, Dry off that good. So I've got a couple of more cassettes from them. Let's use them well. Okay, um, we've been going a bit death doomy, so we might as well stick with it. This one um, is a Czechoslovakian band, or Czech Republic, do they call themselves now? Yeah, the Czech band anyway. Um, they're called Plague Patrol, and this is the Plague Patrol demo 2021. So. You probably won't pick up at all on it because I can't bloody see it anyway myself. But it's quite cool. I think uh, I think these are I say death doom. Uh, there might be a lot of more to fear them in that they're very unrelenting and uh, full on and you know they're, they're just just really really good proper old school. Um, very heavy production. I just put down unrelenting. Um, Four tracks on it. I said I had a sticker, another dry cough sticker than a, a Blake Patrol sticker, which I've left over there. So it's no help to you guys, is it? But yeah, look at that cool blue tape there. Dry cough that could do it again. Another banger. And finally, last but by no means least, this is absolutely stunning. This is actually not death doom, it's just pure death metal. Old school death metal. Vaticinal Lights. I thought it was Vaticanal, but I don't know. Yeah, English, go figure. So, yeah, these are a UK old school death metal band, so obviously they will be part of the term coined by our buddy Liam again. Uh, new wave of British death metal. I think. Um, Celestial Sanctuary might have that on one of the t-shirts as well, but there you go. Um, four tracks on here. This is for people that love a bit of a Morbid Angel, and who doesn't love Morbid Angel, obviously. So yeah, it's a tape. It says, play same on both sides. Just think they're both good, aren't they? Yeah, play, both play same on both sides, which is great. Because, you know, it's like, they're not like CD players. You've got to actually, when you get to the end of it, you either got to fast forward or rewind, but it's quite good just to fast forward to the end. And, Flip it over and play it again. Or well, if you've got a swanky cassette player, it will also actually turn them over then. 
there you go uh, yeah all good stuff so this is oh, that covers brilliant i love that so yeah this is great proper old school uk death metal i don't have any more notes on here about these uh da, 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 da. oh yeah apparently well, i got this off band camp as i get all my I got that good stuff off Bandcamp. Um, got both of these off Bandcamp. Um, the Vatican All Lights or Vatican All Lights. Um, it looks like you guys across the pond, uh, Calgary and the Defining Darkness, uh, are putting this out on tape. And I think there's going to be a CD as well. Um, this is, as I said, I got put down. I got brutal lifts, um, blasty drums. New wave, wave of British Death Metal, World Track EP, Essential. Yeah, so there you go. That'll do me. Uh, I'll be back in two seconds myself. You probably won't see it for another day or two uh, with some a couple of response video things. So, yeah, you take care. Cheers.